Hi everybody, it's Tim with Engadget. We wanted to give you a look at the release preview of Windows 8. This is the latest and greatest version of Windows 8 that we have yet seen, but ultimately, as you can see, nothing has changed that dramatically from the consumer preview that we looked at a few months ago, but there are some new additions that we wanted to walk you through. As you can see, we have a number of live tiles here in the Metro-style interface. And here is one of the new apps. This is Bing Daily. It's a news app, not unlike, say, Flipboard aggregating a number of news sources together to give you a look at what's going on in the world. Top story takes place here and you can click on through. As you can see this is a Reuters story and it pulls down the entire story with a picture so you can read it right here on your desktop without having to go uh, elsewhere. You'll be able to configure which sources that you want included in here and uh, you can also uh, pick some news for yourself. You can look at the top trends and if we go into sources here you can see there's quite an extensive list of uh, content sources uh, to choose from. You can pick which ones take precedence. As you can see, we've uh, picked ourselves. There's also a new sports app. This gives you the same sort of interface, but uh, now with the focus on news. You can choose what types of sports you're most interested in. I'm a Formula One fan, so I'm going to go over here, and this will tell me that uh, Mark Webber won at the uh, Monaco Grand Prix recently. You can also see some other news about uh, Formula One, the complete results, and even the schedule is included here. If you go in here, you can also choose uh, your favorite teams, if you like. I am a fan of the New York Rangers, so uh, this will give me news on uh, the Rangers, whose season, unfortunately, was just cut a little bit short. And you can also get a look at uh, other sport types and other teams, and uh, you, or you can just go ahead to the top and look at what's going on uh, recently. Now there's also Bing Travel, which gives you information on various travel destinations throughout the world. As you can see, you can uh, pick from a couple of highlighted locations, or you can choose more if you'd like to. Let's take a look at Chicago. So this will give me a nice, beautiful picture of the downtown Chicago, a little bit of information about the city, a link to Bing Maps, some photos, even some panoramas of Chicago, and attractions, all sorts of good information. And if you'd like, you can click here, and you can find flights. This is powered by Kayak. And if you do uh, a search, you can uh, click here, and it will bring you back a list of flights that you can choose from and uh, purchase through this interface filtering by airline and all the sort of fun things that you're probably used to through kayak.com. And finally, there's a finance application included here as well, the same sort of idea. You can get a list of information on various stocks, indexes, and uh, world markets. You can choose which your favorite stocks are. You can even get a currency converter built in here as well, so you can see what the currencies of various nations are and uh, how your overseas investments are doing. You can pin, of course, these things up to the start menu. I've pinned Formula One here, so you can see that story about Mark Webber is there. Uh, I've pinned Microsoft Stock as well, which will be here. Uh, in the final version, you'll get some information about the stock, how it's doing currently, included on this live tile. But right now, uh, that's not included. And this is, of course, the same start interface, the Metro interface that we've seen previously. You can get to the traditional desktop by clicking here. If we bring up a window, you can see this is the very familiar Windows environment that you may have seen in such operating systems as Windows 7 or Windows Me or a variety of others. Still no Start button, but if you click down in the lower left, you'll be brought back to the Start interface. And from here, you can go into the Metro version of IE, which, as you can see, uh, is very much the same, but a little bit more simplified to go along with the Metro interface. So again, this is the release preview of Windows 8. This is about what it's going to look like when it ships here later this year. The new apps definitely give it uh, some nice personality, and of course things look very nice here on the start menu. But ultimately, it still doesn't fix that issue that we saw in the consumer preview, which is it's a big glaring change as you go from the desktop view to the metro view. And ultimately, we're not really sure what developers are going to think and what they're going to choose, whether they're going to continue making traditional desktop apps or whether they'll go with a more limited Metro-style interface for their applications going forward. But, again, this is the release preview. You can download it yourself and check it out.